of chapter three. Employ proper economics to protect your body. Your physical representation involves your posture and the way you walk and move. Good posture conveys an image of confidence and can prevent fatigue and many other physical problems. Sitting or standing improperly can put a great deal of stress on your neck, shoulders, back, and legs. Having good posture allows you to get through the day feeling good and doing your best work. Posture. Some guidelines for achieving and maintaining good posture include the following. Keep your neck elevated and balanced directly above the shoulders. Lift your upper body so that your chest is out and up. Do not slouch. Hold your shoulder level and relax, not scrunched. Sit with your back straight. Your muscles and bones work together as a musculoskeletal system, allowing you to walk, raise your hands, and use your fingers. Engonomics, ergonomics is the science of designing the workplace as well as its equipment and tools to make specific body movements more comfortable, efficient, and safe. For example, a hydraulic chair can be raised or lowered to accommodate the stylus of different heights, allowing each stylus to receive clients without bending over too far. Or certain shears are designed to eliminate hand fatigue when curing hair because repetitive movements are of particular concern. Each year, hundreds of cosmetology professionals report muscular disorders, including carpal tunnel syndrome. A wrist injury, back injury. Beauty professionals may have to stand or sit all day and perform repetitive movements. This makes them subtile to problems of the hands, wrist, shoulders, neck, back, feet, and legs. Prevention is a key to avoiding problems and awareness of posture will enhance your health and comfort. Economics is important to your ability to work your body's wellness. Repetitive motions have a cumulative effect on the muscles and joints. To avoid problems, monitor yourself as you work to see if you are falling into these bad habits. Gripping or squeezing implements too tightly, bending your wrist up and down repeatedly, or contouring your wrist when the tools of your profession. Here's a picture. Holding your arms too far away from your body as you work, holding your elbows at more than a 60 degree angle away from your body, extended periods of time. Elbows should be close to the body when cutting, bending forward or twisting your body to get closer to your clients. To avoid economic related injuries, follow the guidelines. Keep your wrist in a straight neutral position as much as possible when giving manicure. Do not reach across the table, have the client extend his or her hand across to the table to you. The use the economic design implements. Keep track of your neck and straight and stand anti-fatigue mat. When standing to cut hair in position, legs, hips width apart. Bend your knees slightly and align your pelvic area with your abdominal. Counter the negative impact of repetitive motions a long period spent in position by stretching and walking around at intervals always put your well-being first <laughs>